Hello, I'm Adam Diaper. You may remember me from such informational films as Don't Eat the Yellow Snow, The Brown Snow is More Efficient. <laughs> and... <laughs> and so today, I uh, am going to show you about making triangles with spheres. The first step is to have at least three spheres and make a triangle. The next step is to have at least three more spheres and make a line. Now we're going to take our line, we're going to take our triangle and combine them and make a larger equilateral triangle. You can then separate again and combine again. Small triangle line, large triangle. Small triangle line, large triangle. Now if we wanted to start moving this around, you could rotate it very gently, making sure to keep uh, this outer sphere as close to your fingertips as possible so then the other spheres have some space on your hand to move around. And once you get to the part of a rotation, so I'm going to start here, move over to there, and we can separate again, and you can see that we have a line and a triangle again. You can step it through one-sixth of a rotation again, and a line and a triangle. One-sixth of a rotation, line and a triangle. One-sixth of a rotation, line and a triangle. And so, once you make those little steps, you can start moving through more than one-sixth of a rotation, and just keep the triangle going the whole time. With the triangle, you could also pinch the bottom line of spheres, so I'm going to pinch the ones next to my left hand, and just flop the whole triangle over, roll it back through, flop the whole triangle over, roll it back through, and flop it over. But it's really important, or I find it very useful, to always break it down in my head into this line and triangle combination that have just been stuck together.